In this example, we want to find the antiderivative of the function that is given here as 2x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus x all divided by x cubed. So the first thing to do is to, uh, we need to go ahead and rewrite this algebraically. So we're going to have the integral of 2x to the fourth over x cubed plus 3x cubed over x cubed minus x all divided by x cubed okay, dx. Okay. All right, so then from here, we can go ahead and uh, simplify each of these terms. So we're going to have the integral of 2x okay, so plus 3 and then minus 1 over x squared. Okay, so now we can go ahead and uh, we can use one of the properties of the integral, and that is we can distribute the integral to each of these uh, terms here. So we're going to have the integral of 2x dx plus the integral of 3 dx okay. and minus, we can take the minus out as a constant. So that's going to leave us with minus the integral of 1 over x squared dx. Okay. All right, so for the first one, okay, for the first integral, we can get, uh, we can use the power rule for integrations, which is the formula that you see in the box here. So remember, 2 is, is treated like a constant. Okay, so this is going to give us 2 times x squared over 2 and we'll have a constant here but we can put the constant at the very end okay the integral of this is going to give us uh, 3x okay so the integral of 3 is just 3x and over here for this one for the integral of 1 over x squared uh, we're going to have that can be written as x to the minus 2 dx Okay, and that is equal to, using the power rule for integration, that's the same as x to the negative 1 divided by one, minus 1. And so that is the same as minus 1 over x. Okay. So we're going to have to, we're going to have minus and then a, a minus and a minus 1 over x. So that's going to turn to a positive later. Okay, so our result's going to be, okay, so adding these up, we have x squared plus 3x and then minus a negative 1 over x. So it's going to give us plus 1 over x. And then we can add on our constant of integration. Okay, so this is our result. So this is the antiderivative of, of the function that we were given. Okay.